hello everyone on the first tutorial i have shown you how to configure logphonic with asp.net if you haven't watched it yet, uh, i suggest you to watch it first before moving on to this tutorial in this tutorial let's see how to give the configuration in a separate xml file how to use login levels to control the login and some other important configuration options available for logphonic I have said that we can use any kind of valid XML file to include the Logfonet configuration. So now I am going to show you how to include Logfonet configuration in XML file. I am going to simply put all the Logfonet configuration in the uh, for Logfonet.xml file here. And I have said that I can also set the XML configuration file in assemblyinfo.cs file. So here is my assemblyinfo.cs file and I have set the for logfonet.xml as the config file here is the web config file as you can see I haven't included any of the tags which are relevant for logfonet here and if I run this now the exception occurred and if I see my log file now I cannot see any logs there if we see the application error method we can see that I have used the debug and error methods but in my configuration file which is for log which is for logfonet.xml file in this case I have set the login level to feta the debug and error methods have low priority than the feta so when I set the login level to feta those will not write the logs here I have another page called uh, demo login levels .aspx, and there I have specifically used feta method so if I run it I should see the text feta error occurred in my log file so I am going to run this one more login levels dot spx if i see the log file now i can see the log here that's how we can manage our log files with login level now let's say we need our log file name to take the today's date so then i can include the uh, file tag here and define the type as, type as pattern string as the value I am going to give test log underscore followed by the today's date and the date format should be this format I am going to comment this line also note that I have given the relative path here which means it will create the log file in the root folder of the application if I run this now the exception occurred I am continuing it now if I see inside my application root folder I can see the log file here and its name is test log underscore followed by the today's date so now uh, if I set the rolling style to date I can get a new log on each day with the date as the log file name let's revert back to the old file name and comment this and comment this and now I am setting the append to file value to false And I'm going to close the Visual Studio. And run it again. I can see the uh, 
log file has been created now I am going to stop the IIS and run the application again now if I see in the test folder I can see two files that's because I have set the append file to false that's how the rolling file append works whenever it needs to create a new file it will automatically append a number to the already existing file and then create the new file with the specified name so those are the basics about log for it